Did you know a simple exercise with pom-poms can make a big difference to elderly mobility? This is what the Move It or Lose It classes are providing. Simple physical activity to improve mobility and quality of life within the older generation. My name is Margaret Wilkinson, um, I'm 59 and I'm a Move It or Lose It instructor. Margaret is one of around 200 instructors across the UK and teaches in Ormskirk, Lancashire. She uses exercises such as pom-pom dancing and squeezing rubber balls. All of these aim to improve the performance of basic daily tasks. The exercises that we teach are designed to help people um, improve their daily life really, uh, trying to keep people as active and independent in their own homes for as long as possible. I basically work the whole body and the brain, so we have a different, different routines. So we use the ball um, quite a lot for finger strength, because obviously we use our hands for everything. And again, as we get older, you're more, um, you, know, you might get arthritis in the fingers. Um, and it's about being able to fasten buttons, all the sort of things that we need the dexterity in you know, the fingers for. The classes prove popular with the elderly as they reap physical but also social benefits. Group games let the members get to know each other while still engaging their body. I found the biggest thing I can do now is to walk up the stairs. One, two, one, two, instead of one, one. One, one. It's made a big difference. It gives you more confidence and because I've had a few falls, but it is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love it. My balance has improved. Do you want this? I can put my knickers on now, standing on one foot instead of having to sit down. <laughs> Classes are suitable for everyone as exercises can be done seated or standing. Margaret also does fun games to help improve memory and hand-eye coordination. This is usually very popular with class members, providing lots of laughter. There are some people who yeah, aren't very sociable um, and some people at the beginning were quite hesitant about the games that I do. So I do a, I usually do a game which is hand-eye coordination or memory type of game, which is really important for challenging the brain. Um, some, some people are quite shy with those types of things. Viv is 74 and is one of the less abled members due to a knee problem. Exercises are tailored to the chair so she can still get involved. Regardless of her condition, she has already seen improvements in more ways than one. Last year, when I went on to my winter shoes, which I've got on now, I, I found difficulty getting my tights on and my shoes, but coming to these classes has given me more mobility that way. Um, it, it also, when you come to these classes, you're actually meeting people. And that's, as well as the exercises, that's a great benefit. Cases like Viv are why exercise classes are not just for improvement, but for maintenance. Physiotherapist Caroline Brahimi explains that keeping the body mobile is necessary for basic daily functions. So it's about functional um functional activities that person needs to do you know for example going up and down stairs you need to have a certain range, amount of movement in your hip in your knee um the ability to you know lift your your toes because you're going to trip over your toes so there's it's always related to sort of how that impacts on the person's function rather than just looking at it as a you know, a medical problem with the knee think about how it impacts on that person's function Move It or Lose It was founded in 2010 by Julie Robinson as she saw her own parents' mobility decline. Starting as CDs, the programme has grown massively. However, Julie has seen a significant gender imbalance which reduces the reach. We are on about 85% of them are female. So that's, we'd love to reach more men. It's very hard to get men to come to our classes. Uh, but you know, those that do love it, but it, I think women are more used to socialising of, of that generation, certainly. They're very happy to come and chat. Social prescription for the class is also something Julie would like to see. This is when a professional prescribes non-medicated activity to help alleviate issues such as depression or lower mobility. What I'd love to think is at some point in the future, people could get our classes prescribed for them through their doctor and the social prescribing system, um, because I believe it would save the NHS billions of pounds. If we can keep people strong, active well, and independent for longer, then that's got to be good for everybody. With an increasing elderly population, it's all the more important to keep ability up. Move it or lose it stresses this point with its title. As the class finishes, Margaret says some inspirational words to end on a high note.
Um, I'm absolutely passionate about staying active as we get older because we can. You know, it's in the name, move it or lose it. If you don't keep moving your muscles, keep moving your body, you lose that ability. For more information about classes in Ormskirk, visit www.moveitorloseitwithmargaret.co.uk. To book your free taster session, please email margaret.wilkinson at moveitorloseit.co.uk. Or to find a class in your local area, please visit www.moveitorloseit.co.uk slash find a class.